Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 24 video, and in today's video we've got some packs, some combos, we've got some PSCTs to go through today, we got to talk about a new training I just put on by Gary Sanchez, and a little bit more. Now, I don't have a lot of things to do today, because unfortunately, I've been having internet, internet issues the entire week, so I haven't been able to do a lot of farming, because as I've made very clear in the past, I much rather prefer, prefer to farm for my laptop on an emulator, as opposed to farming on my phone, because I would prefer to keep my phone's battery from, like, you know, catching on fire uh, when this game runs, and I don't really like to keep my phone just plugged into the wall 24-7, so I don't like to really farm my phone. I like to do other things on my phone while I'm sitting here on my computer, you know. I have other things to do on it, like text people, or use Snapchat, or other things, but like, I don't really like to use this for my phone to farm games, or play Rivals on it, but I don't like to really farm this game on my phone, so unfortunately, like I said, I had to basically go get a new router. Um, it's been a whole mess, you know, selling the phone with tech support, wonder why it's not working, even though I know why it's not working, and I'm basically just having to jump through hoops. Anyway, it's a long, long story, but unfortunately, it means we just don't have a lot of trainers to go through today. I think I have, like, at least a gold trainer to go through today, but, like, there isn't really much else, unfortunately. Um, I do have a couple PSCTs I've gotten, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do, you know. The end of last night, I I did drop and ranked a little bit. I ended up ranked like about like platinum two last night. Unfortunately, just my pitches could not could not swing it. Um, it's really frustrating um, that my pitches ERAs are so high. But that's where it comes into the fact. But I want to talk about what I trained. I trained Gary so that way he has a five tool training, and this makes me sick inside. It makes me feel like I want to throw up. Um, <laughs> this is disgusting. Um, I wanted to go, like, full-on crazy with speed, because speed was his lowest stat, but unfortunately, I got so much development into speed that actually fielding became a problem, because right now, the the last three stats in this are, um, if you add up the basic stats, the grade increase, and the development, it's, 86, it's 88, 87, 88 right now, or it's 88, 87, is it 87? Uh, 86? Hold on a second, I want to double-check my math here. Yeah, 87, 88, 87, 87. So 88 I, 87 speed, and 80, um, what was 85 speed? 85 speed, I think. 56, 64, 65, yeah. 85 speed and, um, um, whatchamacallit, um, 88 fielding. Now, I tried to use the basic tickets to try to manipulate his numbers a little bit. Unfortunately, I couldn't get what I wanted, so it will be uh, a project in the future to use some of these, um, those tickets, which I used up all of them, the bronze, uh, basic tickets and all those things, in order to get his, uh, speed up. I did get one last night, which is why I thought I'm at, why I thought I'm at 87, he's at 85 right now, but unfortunately, it, it took away two contact, um, so I prefer to just not deal with it, because due to the fact that there's no difference between 87 and 85, there is none, so... It didn't really make that much of a difference. I think it makes like a one stat difference right now, but it's not really that big of a deal because um, because 80, uh, 85 and 87 both share the same number for 5 tool 7, but if you have 87, 5 tool 8 goes to um, 88. Um, it increases your stats by an additional one is what I'm talking about. Sorry, that makes no sense. Um, if your lowest stat is 87 with 5 tool 7... It increases your stats. I believe it's nine. Let me double check this. I, I have a I have a chart here. Uh, what do I got here? All right. So five tool seven, 85 is the lowest stat. Increases all your stats by eight, but increases and then five tool eight increases all of them by ten. At 87, which is what I want to have in the future, it will be nine with five tool seven and 10 with 5 tool 8. So it doesn't really matter in terms of 5 tool 8. So right now I have him at 5 tool 8 and charisma 7. And then later on when I actually get a ticket that is going to boost him up with 2 speed, I'm going to go back down to 5 tool 7. But right now I just wanted the extra stats because I thought it was a little bit more important. Uh, a little bit more well-rounded. Um, so he's um, pretty strong. Um, yeah. I wonder if there's a way I can show you in-game real quickly. You know, without actually doing anything. Um, we could go to, like... We could do Exhibition real quickly. We'll, we'll, we'll just go play the Red Sox real quick. Um, I was messing around looking at, at some of my players. Like, seeing how they're they're doing. But this is... Um, 
this is an important thing in order, in my opinion, to boost my team's fielding. And it worked very well. I mean, Gary right now is like 155 fielding right now, which is which is pretty crazy. Um, so hopefully this will help reduce the amount of um, runs my team gives up. Unfortunately, having a legend third baseman is um, going to be a problem. Unless I can get 5-tool on him as well. But for right now, um, he's definitely my lowest um, batter in terms of my infield right now. So, like, if you look at my infield as I come up, Didi was just up at the plate, and so was Robinson and Cano. So not a great idea here. There's Judge hitting a home run. Yes, as he should with guest hitter on, like, 190-something power. So, in the other video, some people wanted me to, like, show off my team a little bit. They wanted me to do a little bit of a team showcase. Well, here's your chance for a team showcase, I guess. Um, Pioneer Spot, Charisma, George Brett. And um, so he's my lowest infield fielder. He has 110 fielding right now. So that's kind of my problem. Like, if you go look at a bunch of the tournament teams, they have a lot of very, very high fielding teams. Um, and that's kind of my problem here. Then we've got Edgar Martinez, Pio, Slugger Instinct, Barrel It Up. Hits Barrel It Up. Unfortunately, somebody pointed this out to me in, in the comment section, and I thank you very much because I'm really stupid. And uh, I didn't realize that somehow I moved around trainers and I, I dropped off of 65% um, speed of contact so mantle was not getting biu bonus um so that's fixed now thankfully um but um I, I really appreciate that i don't know what happened like i said i think i used to have some trainers that were really like good for um i had some trainers that were really good for speed and then i finally got rid of those and then i forgot that i actually was dependent on those for the for the um the speed bonus and there's ruth uh you know Five to four, but like, look at how nuts this card is already. It's like 178 is like the lowest hitting stat. 126 field, 114, 114 field, 126 speed, 186, 189, 178, and also he's got born to be a star too, which means he's got increased fielding, which means that he also has um, increased stats based on the situations. Like as you saw, he got a little bit of a boost there because of the runner in scoring position. And then here's Mantle. Mantle is also uh, born to be a star. Um, lowest is 167. Usually it's a little higher. Uh, this is my, I believe, my league lineup, so he's batting four still. And then, um, and then I believe next is Gary. And I'll show you what Gary looks like. So, this is what he looks like now. Um, obviously, yes, he's in up condition, but he does have, um, oh, I did have the plus two. I don't remember having the plus two. Huh. Oh, I, I took that. That's right. I took the plus two off him while this game was going on. But this is what he would look like in game with the plus two. Unfortunately, I took it off because it was minus two contact. And I didn't really want that. I would rather have like a minus, like minus two out of power because it's his best stat. But I digress. Um, so yeah, he's got one fifty fielding. Uh, unfortunately, he does have one hundred forty six speed, which is you know I don't know why I need a catcher with one hundred forty six speed, but one hundred fifty fielding is going to be very good for a catcher, and I still feel like he's really kind of like a little bit low on the scale in that in that aspect. And then we'll keep on going here a little bit of a so we got Tino here, Pio Charisma Spotlight, um, good good stats. One twenty eight fielding is I think very good for the infield. Obviously, it could be better. Would like to. Um, get five tool on i guess brett in the future but right now i'm not really interested in rolling any blues and greens on him but it might be a might be something in the future that we can look at especially if i want to get want to be a star on him as instead of pio uh, or stuff like that and then you've got uh cano 150 fielding with born to be a star as my second baseman very good love it batting machine is the only only knock against him i think that we could actually have a much better um we can have a much better uh, stat as a third instead of uh, born to be a, instead of batting machine but you know, might be a project for another day. And, and also would like to get higher numbers on him as well. But Born to be a Star is pretty sick. And then Contact Master, Charisma, Slugger, Instinct. 136 fielding on the shortstop position. Um, and I believe that that rounds out the uh, the lineup. So that's going to be it for me for today in terms of the lineup construction. I believe um, I'll show you Judge in case you didn't see him. Um, 162, 191, 166. 120 fielding in right field. Pio, Charisma, Batting Machine. Unfortunately, Batting Machine is like the only problem I have with him, really. If I had, like, another better third, he'd be ridiculous. Or if he had, like, Born to be a Star, I think that'd be pretty crazy. Or Hard Hitter. Hard Hitter would be pretty nuts, too. But um, for anybody who wanted to see what my team looks like nowadays, that's basically what my team looks like nowadays. And then yeah, I can show you my pitchers a little bit, too. Um, nasty pitch on Severino, who actually hits the stats. Slow starter Finn Boss. Uh, Tanaka. Slow starter Dom Ace with Dr. K. 
Um, does he not hit the... Oh, that's an RP option. That's right. Um, Garrett Cole. Um, pretty nice stats. Slow starter Finn Boss. Dr. K, which I don't know if it really helps him, but it shouldn't hurt him. Jay Happ, we put on nasty pitch on him last week. Uh, unfortunately, not really very good. He didn't really do that well. He still finished last week with a 478 ERA. Uh, slow starter Finn, Finn Boss. And then uh, Paxton, who is definitely my weakest pitcher, who I'm definitely thinking about reworking. CM, touch Finn 8 with Batbreaker. Uh, we'll go to the bullpen. Uh, bullpen day, Iron Will, last boss. Uh, I think Iron Will might now might be like the most... Um, like, one of the best relief pitcher skills out there right now. Uh, reduces the opponent's... It basically reduces their hit accuracy. Um, re lowest contact based on the fastball basic stat. He's got a pretty good fastball basic stat. Um, and then on top of that, um, also against people who have gotten on base. So, as a setup guy, I think that's very good. You've got Britton, who is a BPD touch Dom. And now, I would really like to see um, him getting Will as well. Um, touch is okay, but that's like a premium blue target, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, you got Chapin, CM Dom Finn. Um, he's okay. He does okay. He's definitely like one of my, 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 my more bad relief pitchers. Then my old closer, uh, Batansis, who is definitely due for a retrain at some point. Uh, BPD Dom Stab. Um, Stab is certainly very good as a, um, as a third, in my opinion. Um, very, very, you know, very good. It's been very solid, in my opinion. Uh, and then you got Rudy Bay, BPT Fixer Touch. Definitely a greens candidate if I ever want to move along with him because I'd really rather move along from Fixer. Um, you've got my my long reliever, D-Rob. Pitcher's Chemistry Touch, don't really care. Um, and then my closer, BPD, uh, Elite Closer, uh, Finesse. Now, he had a bit of a rough week last week. He was in down condition at the end of last week, so he was definitely in, in a little bit of a pain. He finished with a 3.5 ERA. Um... I want to say he had about like 109 games, and he got saves in like uh, 90 of them. So like he definitely blew a lot of saves for me. It was very unfortunate. So he had a bit of a tough week, a little bit high on the whip scale, but overall, um, definitely expected more out of him. Uh, I'm assuming that the down condition definitely affected him quite a lot. So that's kind of why I'm not really freaking out. We'll see again this week. I do want to try to um, max f uh, Finn this week. And then uh, take BPD to 4. I believe that that's actually more if you take Finn to 8 in that situation. Um, or Finn to 7 in that situation. I'm sorry. Like the Diamond Finesse I think would actually do better than the BPD. Because I think that actually would, would give you more bang for your buck in terms of like the stat increases. But I could be wrong with that. Maybe, maybe the calculator is just incorrect. But that's the way that I would assume it is. But I, I got to double check my math on that one. I just wanted to talk about the idea. Somebody also mentioned they're like, oh, you could just buy a Diamond Trainer, which, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really want to buy a Diamond Trainer. Um, my monetary situation is a little difficult right now. I've got a lot of bills to pay right now, so unfortunately I'm just kind of stuck here. Yes, Arson Judge 2021. I've got a lot of bills to pay. Unfortunately, something happened. I don't want to talk about it very much, but, you know, something happened where all of a sudden i got to pay a lot of the house bills, and i got to pay, uh, you know, i got I got to grow up, and i got to be an adult. So... Unfortunately, you know, things happen, things change in life. Uh, I no longer have that amount of disposable income where I can just throw $50 or $100 at like a, an, at an elite fielding diamond trainer, in my opinion. But, you know, maybe someday that will change. But for the time being and for the moment, unfortunately, there's just not really much I can do about that. Um, just kind of got to, you know, I've been taking up more hours at work when I can't go to school, when I'm at school, you know, just... So I apologize, you know. Fortunately, it happened at a good time where I no longer need to go purchase, like, teams like SIGs and GIs anymore. But unfortunately, right now, I've just been kind of, like, a little bit behind the eight ball here where I've just been kind of struggling trying to tread water and trying to keep my head above water and make sure the lights stay on at the house. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it that much because, you know, I don't really want to, you know, you know, don't want to be negative on the video. But, you know, because, you know everybody just, you know, wants to come here to hang out and talk baseball. That's all we're really here to do, right? All right, let's keep on trucking. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Diamond Prime. Yankee legend Joey Gallo, who I've been seeing him hit a couple big dongs for the for the Nationals, which has been pretty fun. Let me just drop this. Um, let me drop this A.J. Burnett real quickly. But I, I wouldn't say that that's, like, the end-all, be-all of Gary. Like, I want to see how he does, personally. Um, 
you know, maybe I could go even crazier and I could even go like a little harder on him. Maybe I could also take this opportunity to maybe reduce the amount of um, trainers that I have on the right side and maybe put a couple more back towards the left side. Maybe. I don't know. These are just things that I'm kind of waffling around about. But for the people who are talking to me about, um, like, yes, I know, obviously, everybody wants me to, to, to do mantle and everything, but... But like here's the here's like the, the 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 facts of the matter. Right now, as Mantle stands, his lowest stat is his speed, which would be a five tool bonus of sixty four plus nine, which is seventy three. Um, he gets plus seven to every stat, and also gets the, the Born to Be a Star bonus, which I think that he does perfectly fine the way he is right now. I mean, look, you, you've seen his in game stats. His in game stats are like one sixties. Um, even without, even only getting five to a four, like he, he's getting, he's perfectly okay. In my opinion, um, is there a chance that like, I could really go crazy with him? Yes, there is a chance I could really go crazy with, crazy with him. However, Ruth is an absolutely lost cause. I mean, look, I don't really know what anybody thinks I can do with this card. Um, but like, let me just pull up the calculator here real quickly. Like, so right now, he's uh, 52 plus 10, which is 62. Uh, this chart only starts at 72, by the way. The chart I have is 72 because nobody else is as bad as my card is that is using 5-tool. So right now, he is getting, I believe, a 7. He's getting 7 bonus, I believe. Maybe 7, maybe a little bit lower than that, just due to the fact that he's a level 4. Um, let's say, for instance, like you get, you get into a situation where you go plus 20 development on the right side. So that would add 15 to him right now. So he's at 62 at 15. That would be 77. And 77 is still the same bonus as he is getting right now, which is plus 7. Let's say you add like plus 25 onto him. Add 25 onto his fielding stat. Now the problem you're running into is that his speed is now going to be his lowest number. If you had 25, if you had 20 to it, that'd be 82. Which now you're you're still getting plus seven. You're still getting plus seven. It's still the same number. Like if you added 20, if you added if you if you developed his field to be plus 25, he would still have the same bonus he's getting right now. And then you'd still have a problem because speed would be lower. So like yes, I, I know I know I, I should. Honestly, in the future, I should probably roll off a five tool on him. That's what I really should do. If you want my my truthfully and honest to god answer, it should be that the answer is is to get rid of it. Um, but that's unfortunately going to be look right now. He's doing fine. I don't want to mess with the apple cart. He's doing okay. I don't want to mess with it just because it's going to be a problem. You know, don't mess with things that aren't broken. He is right now one of my highest home run hitting batters right now. I'm not going to mess with him. But I just wanted to point out just how dire. Babe Ruth's card is like it is like you I, I, I put in the comment section you're gonna need to like do plus like 30 just to even see like a, a minor increase in the card like and truthfully like like I said even if I go plus 30 like on fielding I'm gonna need to modify his speed a little bit there, there's diminishing returns here so it's a it, their mantle and Ruth are both absolutely garbage five tool cards. It's unfortunate because they're just they're just so top heavy on the left side. But um, yeah, like believe me, Gary Gary is okay. He is he's serviceable with five tool. It's just that Ruth and Mantle, unless you have like the supreme cards, their cards are just like absolutely unusable with five tool and that's just the way it is it's unfortunate because it's like it's a great skill and i really want to run on them but like overall in my opinion it is to quote the the, the michael k show that i listen to all the time the juice is not worth the squeeze here that's just my that's my take i, I could be wrong maybe somebody out there has done this with ruth sig or with mantle sig to great effect but just for me it's just it does not in my opinion seem feasible so Believe me, I've tried. Um, I've I've worked this problem, and the the general consensus from everyone who I've talked to about Ruth as a five tool batter is that he would be more valuable if I rolled off a five tool and got something better. However, maybe that's a premium, that's a premium blue target down the road. Maybe it's going to be like a reskill. Maybe it's going to be a reskill, and we're going to see if we can get like a higher number on him down the line in the future. I don't know, but for right now, he's one of my top batters. He is my center fielder, which maybe I could put I could put Mantle in center field because I believe Mantle has a higher speed rating than than Ruth does. 
But for right now, I'm not going to mess with a good thing that's actually working. I only went, I only messed with Gary because last week, Gary really didn't really perform in the home run department. Gary last week was second to last in home runs on my team, which is not that bad because there's like the top end, which is like really crazy up there. But then like Gary was like second to last, like, you know, below some pretty basic skill sets. So unfortunately, just want to just want to modify him a little bit and see if I can actually if I'm not going to get the crazy home run numbers off of him, I might as well get the high fielding because that will hopefully reduce my ERA across the board if I can increase my batter's fielding because uh, catcher fielding is a very, very high thing. Like somebody said in the comment section a couple of videos ago, they said, look, you probably would have been better off keeping laser beam. And honestly, I probably would have been better off keeping laser beam. However, I wanted to be greedy and uh, I got something that that's a pretty good offensive card. And now I'm going to pay the price by losing a little bit of offensive capabilities from the left side. And I'm going to pay for it by basically getting some some better fielding from 5 Tool. And honestly, I'm honestly pretty happy with the way the card turned out. It doesn't look very pretty, but hopefully if it increases my, um, my fielding ability and helps me get a lower ERA, then all that is worth it in the, in the long run. All right, let's keep on trucking here. I keep saying that. That's like really in the back of my mind today for some reason. It's just I'm keep thinking of like like Nogla talking about that um, from like a C Nanner's Gary's Bod Prop video f like from like forever ago. Like it's this is the point where I start to realize that I'm old. The, the fact that I'm like quoting like let's play videos from ten years ago. Um, but yeah, uh, the other better news is that I've actually nailed every single pick'em. I've nailed every pick'em in the um, uh, the power ranking tournament. So uh, I'm actually going to get the sig pack this time for once. So hopefully that will be a a signature Matsui card, which would be pretty cool. But um, this was a huge victory for me. Honestly, everyone everyone here doubted me, including me. I even doubted myself. But I basically just like from the third round onwards just kept picking like Taiwan Astros and I was just like, yep, this is this is it. This is the way to do it. Um, and also, especially because he still had a boost left over for the final round matchup and Snoopy didn't. So I was like, yeah, this is this is going to be pretty much a layup, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, Snoopy had to use all of his boosts in order to get to the final round and, um, and uh, Taiwan Astros did not. So... Um, yeah, he just basically walked away with it, this one. Everybody, like, look, I know some people in my comment section were talking about, like, I talk about conspiracy theories. It's just because it's, like, it's just because it's fun. Like, you know, like, there's no real, there's no real meaning behind it. But everybody was, like, look, we're gonna talk about conspiracy theories again. Everyone in our club chat was picking Snoopy due to the fact that they're, like, oh, you know, Com2 would never allow a back-to-back -back winner. And then, turns out, they allowed a back-to-back -back winner, so... There you go. I mean, look, if you want any, um, any, we, if you want to, like, build your team, I want you to look at what he did, which is not the fact to say that build your entire team off the of Supremes, which is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is, like, look at the skills, look at the trainings, look at what, like, the, the, um, uh, the trainers and all that sort of thing. Um, and then you can, like, really learn a lot from watching those things because, you know, if you're basing your team on what I do, um, my team's going backwards. So uh, take take my advice at your own risk. But that guy, he seems to clearly know what he's doing. Other than spending money. That's not what I'm saying here. All righty then. Let's see if we can get ourselves some diamonds today, shall we? Fortunately, we have the 100 the premium packs from the, um, the event. Oh, all the judges today, man. All the judges today. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, just... Uh, I will hopefully have a lot more farming done this week. Uh, I'll be able to do it while I'm at school. I'll be able to do it while I'm at work. And I'll actually be able to access my laptop, remote desktop connection, and actually be able to click on things as opposed to having my router die. It was the weirdest thing. It was like a power outage. And then, like, when the power came back on again, the router just wouldn't work again. And I called them. I'm like, hey, man, my router's not working. And they're like, oh, well, could you, like, like check your cables? And I'm like... Really? It's not, it's not the cables. The cables haven't moved. It's the router, man. I'm telling you, it's the router. I'm like, I know more than you do. I'm like, I know how computers work. It's not working. It's like one of those situations where, like, you know too much information, and you try to talk to them, and I don't think they understand. Like, I'm using, like, things like, hey, man, I tried to ping the servers. Like, I tried to ping, like, Google, like, eight eight, like IP address 8888, and it didn't work. Um... I'm sending data, but I'm not getting any packets back. And I'm like talking to this guy over the phone, and I'm like, "Listen, man, I'm telling you, it's sending packets, but it's not receiving packets. It says it's a network connection, but it's like it's not sending and receiving TCIP data." And 
the guy was probably just like, um, well, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? I'm just like, oh boy, here we go. Oh man. It's like, have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? Yes, I've turned it off and turned it on again twice in six hours. It hasn't worked, man. But anyway, that problem is behind us. As you can see by the fact that this video has been uploaded, um, means that it's actually not a problem this time for now until the next power outage happens and it's like even weird too because i don't know how it got fried because it's in the source protector so i'm just like really confused how they managed to like how it managed to break while plugged into a surge protector not into the wall into a surge protector uh, it's just really really weird to me really really bizarre Oh man, I who do we who were we doing last week with PSETs? I think I don't remember who we were doing with PSETs last week. Was it like was it bad? Like who were we doing PSETs on? I can't remember. I may have to go. Hold on a second. I'm gonna go look this up real quickly. I need to go look at my last video here because I actually don't remember who we were doing last week. Someone in the comment section is probably screaming at me like you're an idiot, and I'm like, yes, I am an idiot. Hold on a second. Hello, There's me. <laughs> Hold on a second. I need to see this information. Uh, we were doing Mickey Mantle. Uh. No, this is a really old video. Oh, no, it's not. No, no. This is, that was his backup set. Never mind. Never mind. No, abort. We're good. It was his, it was his other set. We were looking on him. But, uh Never mind. No, that's not what I wanted. I don't want to do the wish pack. Um, I want to do diamond pack and then team selective diamond pack. That's right. Um, but yeah, I guess we were working on mantle just due to the fact that um, I would like to get a better skill on him. Bottom four. David Peralta, nice photo. No, no photo. Team select diamond. Give me like a legend. Yeah. Please, no, no legend. Tiny Canley. All right, let's open the Leaf Selective Prime Pack. I don't remember where we got this one from, but I would like a Yankee, please. Uh, nice gold one. Oh, Joe Nathan. I already have a Joe Nathan. I believe I already have a Diamond Joe Nathan. All right, let's pull our signature pack. would be pretty cool if we got that Matsui now, though. Silver. Ooh, no. Matt Bush? Is that who we're, we're rocking with? I want to get the name right. I like to, I like to get the name right. Yeah, Matt Bush. Okay. So I want to make sure I got the name right. Um, and then I don't believe we have a combo. We have the Garrett Whitlock. We've got the Matt Bush. And I believe that that is it. And the Joe Morgan, which we're saving because that's a Diamond Sig. Um, let me go upgrade the, the Geo Nathan I already have. Come on, baby. Let's see what I got here. Yes, sir. Beautiful. I love it when they upgrade. All right, let's double check and make sure I got no other material. Uh, but that's a normal Castillo. Yes, it is. Um, that's a no normal Alex Wood. Yes, it is. Okay, then no Luke Weavers. I've somehow gotten two Luke Weaver cards out of that. I don't know what I did. But here we are. Apparently, that's that's just craziness. Okay, bye, Nasty Nester. Jacob DeGrom, who somehow is in the game despite the fact that he's on the 60-day injured list, which doesn't make any sense to me, but fine, sure. Um, don't know how that works, but I'm not going to question it. There's a lot of weird things. I also thought that, that Richard Blyer retired. Didn't I hear that right? I thought he retired. AJ Minter. Do, do, do. Savale. That all I have? Really? Oh, yeah, we really did not get a lot of cards this week, unfortunately. We will hold off on that for next week. Believe me, I will have plenty more things to do next week. I will have much more farming done, just like I said, unfortunately. Just you know, and it was an and it was a act of God this week that unfortunately kept me away from from um, being able to do this stuff today. Let's go open up our ranked boxes. Uh, let me just do club missions real quickly. I already did it. Okay, never mind. We are good to go. Ranked boxes. Give me PSETs. Nope. 
just what I needed. A hundred, uh, hundred uh, condition drinks. Let's go do our PSETs. Now, this is something that I would like to talk about. I do believe that buying this package may not actually be that bad. Now, I mocked it last time because I thought it was like, great, I'm going to spend another five hundred, another $50. But honestly, it's it's pretty good. Honestly, it's for $50, I think that's actually pretty pretty good value. But I'll be buying it later on when I get a little bit closer to actually finishing the mileage. But that's actually a pretty good deal, in my opinion. You absolutely get your money's worth, in my opinion. All right, let's... Uh, to do this set and see if it gets something crazy. I would really like to get Born to Be a Star again. I've really, I've very much liked the Born to Be a Star skill. I really like it a lot for more reasons than one. I also would like to um, reiterate my previous point. Um, I made fun of um, Strength and Strength because I didn't really understand it that, that much. But on a Switch hitter, Strength and Strength would be, would be pretty nuts in my opinion. I think that would be really good on a Switch hitter. Um, but that's like really the only place where I, in my opinion, it's really good is on a switch hitter. So for Mantle, it actually would make a lot of sense because he is a switch hitter. So I think it'll be very good to get strength and the strength on him as a third. Um, but we will see what we can get with him. Uh, the next one is a legend skill change ticket. We're getting there. We're actually moving up the board here rather quickly, which has been very nice. How many more do we need? Uh, nine more. So we're actually we may get it next video. We may get it next video, depending on how how kind this week is to us. We we're gonna get at least one from the club craft, and then maybe we'll see where the rest come from. Of course, what good is it having PSCTs when they don't ever do anything? I feel like last week and this week we've seen zero, 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 zero. Wow. All right, give me that legend skill. Nope. Not this week, guys. Maybe next week. Maybe next week we'll actually see a legend skill. But um, yeah, five away from the from the first legend skill change ticket. But I'll definitely look into buying that later on in the future because it will essentially be a lot more legend skill change tickets for us in the long run. So let's open up our three premium recruit tickets. Nothing doing there. Stamina six, break five. Wow, that's going right in the trash. That's going right in the trash. That one's not that bad. And con four speed one, not great. Essentially gives you plus four contact and three power as a second base. But maybe I can go through that on Kano real quickly. Let me see what Kano has. That might be a pretty good one for Kano. Let me see what I got here. Because essentially it's like pretty solid for him as a second baseman. Power five speed three. Power 5, speed 3. Oh, no, I'm out of space. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be pretty good for him. Some additional fielding is always good. Um, where is that one I just said I'm going to get rid of? Is that one on here? Yeah, that one is going right in the trash. No need for that much. No need for a stamina-based one. All right, so Power 5, speed 3. Not a, not a bad one. Not a bad one, in my opinion. But I would much rather have. Um... Ooh, that one's not bad. Not really, not really sure about having speed. That's plus eight power for a DH. That one's really solid. But unfortunately, I don't know if I really need that much power on Edgar. I think I need more, like more eye on Edgar. Maybe uh, I need to see. Um... Was it contact power? No, no, it wasn't. It was contact speed field. That was a nice balance trainer, in my opinion. Get him a little bit more more fielding would be pretty good for the infield, in my opinion. All right, well that's gonna be it for me for today. I think. Let me just double check and make sure I've got like everything done for today. Unfortunately, like I've said, just nothing really to do right now. Um, it's a real shame, like I said, but hopefully next week will be a better week. But that will be it for me for today, you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing okay in your pickums me i'm still losing almost every single pickum but i'm i'm hanging in there so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for tuning in with me hopefully you guys agree with what i've said in this video but if you guys disagree do do feel free to leave me a comment and yell at me because you know um there's no way i'm always right i'm not right about things i'm wrong about a lot of things you guys know a lot of things as well and you know having a healthy discourse and having discussion about things is how everybody gets better so i will see you guys in the next video good luck with your polls your packs your combos and i will see you guys in the next video on monday peace